tell us more about your training regime uh, and how many hours you've been training uh, for the upcoming race and do you feel confident in winning it? Uh, anything else you have uh, in your mind? Thank you. Well, first of all, good afternoon everyone. Um, very happy to be here with Petronas and, and also now working with Premax. It's uh, a, a role that I'm really looking forward to. Obviously this year is a, an important year for, for for both us as a team, but uh, also for Petronas, so I'm um, really excited to be a part of it. For my training, I mean, you can never prepare to be uh, for, for driving in these conditions. You know, obviously we travel around the world. We're always in a different climate, but um, this is definitely one of the hottest uh, places that I ever get to go to. I don't know how you all do it, but um, for us, basically, we uh, before I come here, the only way to simulate it is being in the sauna. So in the sauna, you, you just try and spend a little bit more time in the sauna. Just firstly get your body acclimatized to heat and also sweating and, and working your pores and your whole system. But uh, physically, we have to do a lot of cardio, particularly more so this year. The car is probably a little bit less physical to drive. It's a little bit slower, but um, I would say it's more mentally challenging this year, for sure. But this year, the cars are heavier with these bigger power units. It's a lot heavier, so it's... Um, there's a lot more demand on the driver now to be lighter, so I've had to lose a lot of weight this year. I won't say how much, but it's been quite a lot. I had to change my shirt size, at least. So, um, but um, it, usually when I'm out of the season, we do, we must be training five or six hours a day. Probably five or six hours a day, I would say. But, yeah. And then during the season, it's about maintaining your fitness. You do, you're not trying to get fitter through the season, you're trying to trying to maintain what you have so but it's generally impossible to stay as fit you can't be the fit as you've been all year long so you're trying to create peaks through the year and hope that you peak at the races and um, of course coming here i've not won here uh Sepang, so i'm massively massively excited to, to just have a great car have a, hopefully have a race because obviously i didn't get to see the whole way through the last race and fingers crossed we can uh, get a one two that's that's the goal Next question. Hey Lewis, um, Farah on behalf of Sports 24-7. With the extreme conditions that are in Sepang and the new regulation changes, what are the things that you, the team has had to work on to prepare for this race in particular because of the conditions? So this year, cooling is always a big, a big issue. So um, this is where Petronas really can play a huge role, particularly with the engine. They've been working very, very hard to try to... The cooler, the, the cooler you can run the car, the more power you can get. And um, for us as a, as, a, as a team, and for all the teams, if the, cars, if the engine's overheating, you have to open up the radiators, if you, uh, the, the cooling ducts. And if you open up the cooling ducts, you lose downforce. So the great thing is with our fuel is that it's so efficient, and also the, the lubricants we have keep the engine very, very cool as cool as we can be, obviously every time we're trying to improve it and of course during this week and moving on through the season we'll continue to improve it but um, the smaller we can have the, 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 the cooling ducts, the more downforce we have. But this weekend is going to be massively challenging for the car, we obviously, Nico completed the whole race distance um, in, uh, in Melbourne and uh, yeah, I mean, but I think everyone's still finding issues bit by bit so I think for us, it's just trying to iron out all the all the creases. Hopefully, they're not too many. So, um, hopefully, this weekend is going to be. I mean, it's going to be challenging for us for sure, as it is for everyone. Lewis, I'm sure the members of the media and our distinguished guests are excited to know how you feel on your appointment as Petronas's technical performance consultant for our Premax range of fuels. Maybe you could elaborate on that. Yeah. Um, no, I'm excited. You know, this is this, this is my second year with Petronas, and it's been. A real pleasure to work with the great people that are, that are among um, the Petronas team, but also just the interaction we have with the engineers that come to the circuit and work closely with us to, you know, listen to every single word that me and Nico will say when we come out for our debriefs, and all the things that just constantly wanting to innovate, or constantly wanting to improve and be better. And there's nothing better than working with people that want to be the best. So, you know, there's not a single person in our team whether it be in marketing, whether it uh, be in the media division or just building the car, there's not one person in the team who doesn't want to be the best and want to win. So, And that's why you're seeing the results that we're beginning, we're starting to get. So um, for me, as, as um, 
we were saying, you know, this year we've only, we have to finish the race the same distance as we, as we did last year. I think last year would be 160 kilos of fuel in the, in the car for the, for the race, as where now we have 100 kilos to do the same distance. So it's quite incredible to see the um, efficiency, you know, all the improvements we're making with efficiency, with the engine, the turbo. Um, and, but as, also as a driver, there's a lot of demand to try and save fuel and all these different things to make the car last. So I'm going to be pushing very hard, working with uh, Premax to, to try and make sure that I have more, I can go f further with the amount of fuel that I have on board so that I have to do less fuel saving. Just to, to add on that also, um, now, now you probably see or know why with, uh, we've been partnership with uh, Lewis. You can see that it's a perfect partnership whereby he's given a lot of inputs, a lot of suggestions, and this we have translated it into an efficient Petronas Premax fuel, not only for the F1 car, but now it's with you on the road. Any further questions from the members of the media? Please. Uh, Byron Young, Daily Mirror. I was, um, I've just Can't seem to get away from you. <laughs> <laughs> all the races, mate, yeah. here all season. I wonder if you give us some news on um, uh, what's happening with your car. Obviously, the result wasn't what you wanted. In, in Australia. Can you tell us what happened and will you have to change the engine for Sunday? It's a good question. Um, I actually have been in touch with my engineers quite a lot over the last uh, few days and so just they're still investigating but they've generally found something went wrong with some wiring to the engine I think it is that uh, was literally just as I left the garage. So it happened literally as I was leaving the, the pit lane. It already happened, there's nothing I could do to, to avoid it. Um, I think the fortunate thing is that we did stop when we did. You know, I, I didn't want to stop because the car was still going, but not very fast. And um, hope, I'm hoping, of course, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I've, you know, I've saved, I basically saved an engine life, in turn, uh, a race distance of life for the engine. So if I can use it, that'll be fantastic. I think, I think it's gonna be usable. Hi, uh, this is Jonathan from Paul's Time. Hold on. Um, how does Petronas work in Formula 1 in terms of the, the fuel and the lubricants? Um, how does it transfer to the road cars, to, to, the, to the fuels that, and the lubricants that the rest of the public use? Well, it's the perfect test bench, you know, and I'm the test pilot for all of you guys, you know. Um, because the premax fuel we actually use, you can actually use in the, in the road cars. Um, but all, all the things that we, as I said, it's the perfect test bench. So all the all the different lubricants they're bringing, um, and obviously we've got so many different lubricants on the car, all the oils, and we are pushing them to the maximum. So we're trying to, we, we're taking it further than any other company could really take it, unless they're obviously in from one. And so it's, it's the perfect laboratory, as you said. Um, and the great thing is that it's, it's, it's also with, you know, the whole car, for example, we're developing all these new things with technology, with um, ECUs and um, all these different maps that a lot of different companies are using from, from, from the road, from the Formula 1 cars that we're using and we're developing brakes and systems and all these kind of things that are actually going to road safety and all those things as well so there's a lot of a lot of input and a lot of stuff that comes from the Formula 1 car which is quite unique. Okay ladies and gentlemen in the media that is the end of our press conference we thank you guys